Hi guys, and welcome back to my latest video. First off, I want to apologize that this video is up later than I had planned. Um, one is I've been out of town, and two is my camera got ran over by a car on the freeway, and it's kind of a crazy story, and it will be on my vlog channel, which is linked down below, so if you want to hear that whole story, go check out my vlog channel. Um, but yes, I have my new camera, obviously, as you can tell, and I'm ready to start making videos again for 2018. So t my 2018 um, nursing resolutions, I always want to say revolution, I don't know why, but um, I like to do this every year, and I think I've done it every year since being on my channel. At least I've done it a couple times. But I wanted to do kind of my nursing 2018 resolutions, just some goals for 2018 when it comes to my career. Um, I have basically one big goal this year, and that is to take my CCRN. And I'm saying it now to hold myself accountable, and when it comes time for my eval here in the next couple weeks at work, I'm going to put that on my goal for my 2018 um, work evaluation so that way I can um, hold myself accountable. I really want to take my CCRN and get it out of the way. I just need to do it. A lot of people at work have already done it and um, yeah so I'm going to be studying a lot. I'm using um, Nicole Kupchik. I don't know if that's how you say her last name but anyways I'm using her books right now. I may be going to one of her reviews in April and um, that's pretty much all I'm doing is just lots of study questions. The same thing I did for the NCLEX. Other than that, I'm trying to think of like other goals I have for nursing. I know it sounds totally lame, but I feel like 2017, I really got myself, got my feet wet in the ICU. I feel very, I don't use the word comfortable, because I feel like comfortable is not a good nursing role. But I feel very confident in my abilities in the ICU. I'm still learning tons, but I feel like you can give me you know, the sickest of the sick patient or you can give me something that is more basic and I um, can, I feel comfortable taking care of that patient. Um, in 2017, kind of just to reflect, I did a lot of classes. I did like a hemodynamics class, I got certified for CRRT, I got certified for rotaprone. Um, what else did I do? I took a trauma class. I took a lot of different courses. And for 2018, there's not many more certifications I can do as far as like work um, equipment, so to speak. Like the rotaprone is a piece of equipment. The CRT is a piece of equipment. Um, the only one, other one that I know of that I can do is balloon pump. So I'm thinking in 2018, I'll also get certified to run the balloon pump. Um, but I'm just kind of enjoying those certifications that I have and it's I realized that if I do too many all at once Then I kind of limit myself so to speak for the ones that I can do for the following year um, Not saying that you should like slack back because you're <laughs> like whoa I'm too motivated stop taking classes. It's not that at all I just want to pace myself a little bit better Otherwise, I have no plans as of now to go back to school in 2018. I have no plans to change jobs in 2018. Um, so I'm just going to keep pushing on through, get my CCRN, probably take that balloon pump class, take a few other classes here and there um, just to keep continually learning and just enjoy my job. I really enjoy like having a healthy life balance now that I've, I've said this in a lot of videos, but now that I'm out of school, I've been out of school for two and a half years now, which is just crazy that I've been a nurse for that long. But I just want to continually have a healthy life balance between my work life and my personal life. And I'm really enjoying both right now and I want to continue doing that because I think it's super healthy and awesome. So I want you guys to comment down below your goals for 2018. I know this is like totally lame. Um, I've got some other like personal goals but that, as far as work like that is what my work goals are. Also one last tiny goal, I guess it's not really a tiny goal, but I really want to start doing more public speaking for like my YouTube channel and nursing related stuff. I have a speech coming up in Michigan um, at the end of January and I'm so so excited about. Um, and I really would love, depending on how this goes, maybe to open up some more opportunities for me to do more public speaking for nursing students. And so I'm super excited about that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, comment down below your goals, and we will just have a great 2018. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.